Americans in Newark, though, in the meantime, they are waking up to down power lines and trees just littering the streets there. Public Safety Director Anthony Ambrose is answering the call. He joins us this morning. Director Ambrose, thanks for being with us. Thank you. You oversee all emergency responders, police, fire, emergency management operations. Did they work through the night to assist the storm cleanup? Yes, they did. They worked through the evening uh, with the Public Works Department all night. All right. So how bad is the situation there? Uh, we've had 199 trees come down and we had 156 wires come down, which created uh, 19,000 residents without lights. The majority of the north ward of the city uh, was without lights uh, throughout the evening and still continues uh, that way. All right. Any idea when all of this will be restored? I know there's a lot of work ahead, but uh, can you give customers or residents uh, who don't have power uh, an estimate of when that might be back on? Uh, yes, public service did uh, uh, turn on uh, repair about uh, 9,000 of the uh, people that were uh, without lights. So we have 10,000 out. Uh, they're given no time frame. Uh, they're working. Uh, they work through the night as well. Uh, so uh, all we could ask our residents is to, uh, you know, as usual, Norkers, uh, they, they rise to the occasion. Just uh, bear with us and uh, don't use any candles. Uh, you know, call 6,000, or 911 if you need assistance. And... Uh, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get through this. All right. So you're urging people not to use candles, I guess, flashlights and whatnot if it gets dark and they don't have their power back on. I understand the yeah. north ward was uh, one of the hardest hit. Is that true? That's correct. Uh, that's the north side of the city uh, from the Belleville line over to Bloomfield Avenue. Uh, it was uh, approximately about 16,000 residents that were affected. And what about uh, street lights and, and, and whatnot? Has that been affected by the power outages? Uh, yes, street lights were out, traffic control uh, signals were out. Uh, police had to man a certain traffic control points throughout the evening and still are doing that. Uh, we did have uh, extra patrols in the area. Uh, to, to, so far, there was no, uh, no fatalities, no injuries, uh, no, no crime issues. So uh, we're lucky so far. It seems like this was mainly wind damage. Did you have any um, flooding uh, that caused some major concerns? Because I understand you had some Zodiac boats on standby just in case. We yes, we did. Uh, no, it, was, mm -hmm. it was limited, limited flooding. Uh, it came, it, you know, came through uh, swift and furious, uh, a lot of wind damage, uh, which just the trees, uh, really no flooding at all. All right. So what's your main focus at this point? Uh, is the cleanup, working with uh, public uh, works and cleaning up, restoring power, making sure our residents are safe. Uh, and uh, just uh, trying to, you know, these types of storms are, 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 are timely to restore and, and costly. So uh, we're working on it to uh, get it back to normal, some normalcy. You and so many other cities as well. It's going to be a tough but busy day. We appreciate your time and all the work that you've been doing.